and welcome to episode 3 of Baking with Jay. Today we will be making applesauce cookies. First thing you need to do is get two thirds of butter softened. My mom did it this morning so that it would be softened for when I got home from your, class. Your assistant. Sorry, my assistant did it, not my mom. Next step is to get one third cup of brown sugar and you put it into your bowl of butter. I'm making it packed. I don't care what the recipe says. It's now packed brown sugar, all right? We're improvising. Okay, one third brown sugar into your bowl of butter. Next is one cup of granulated sugar. I didn't get my knife out. Oh no. Gotta make sure your sugar is leveled. There you go. One cup into the bowl of butter. Then you have your secret ingredient. This case it is unsweetened applesauce. You need one third cup of your secret ingredient. How am I gonna pour this? Figured it out people. We're just gonna scoop because if we try to pour we're gonna make a mess. One third applesauce into the bowl. And then you get to eat your spoon. Don't forget your spatula. You got a you got a spatula. Get it out of there so you get it all. Thank you, assistant. She's smirking at me. The final step for this part is to get one tablespoon of vanilla extract and put it in your bowl. Oh, we went a little bit over, but that's okay. My assistant is in the background going. And then you take your mixer and you mix your sugar, butter, vanilla extract, and applesauce together very well. Ready, set, go! <laughs> then two eggs into the bowl and you're gonna beat them so that it's all smooth. And now beat! <laughs> so then once you have everything beaten and it looks like just a lump of oatmeal, you're gonna put it aside and you're gonna start your dry ingredients. So you need a separate bowl for that. Do you want to come say hi? No. The assistant doesn't want to say hi. Okay. You need three cups of all-purpose flour into your bowl. And it still went everywhere. We haven't learned, apparently. Maybe by recipe four. We'll know not to do that. Next up is one teaspoon baking soda. Make sure you got your knife handy dandy to level it out. Into the bowl. One teaspoon of sea salt into your bowl as well. Again, level it out. Into the bowl. And then you're gonna mix it all together so that everything is incorporated nicely into it. Then you're gonna take your wet ingredients again, get your dry ingredients and combine it slowly into your wet ingredients. Slowly, we emphasize the word slowly so it doesn't explode all over your kitchen because that's not fun to clean up, okay, okay. forget to take your spatula and get all the excess flour that sprayed around your bowl into your mixture so that you get it all incorporated. So now that your wet and dry ingredients are all mixed together to make a beautiful dough, you are going to get a cup and three quarters of chocolate chips, pour it into your mixture, and then mix it all together. Once your dough is complete, you are going to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's what we're going to do now. Once you're done preheating your oven, you're going to scoop up your dough and put it on your baking sheets. It's really sticky dough, so good luck. <laughs> it's just sticking to me! What's it doing? Sticking to me! Okay, lady. Peanut gallery in the back. They can hear you playing your little video. I have no idea how much these cookies are going to expand. They're very sticky batter, so I have absolutely no idea what's going to happen. So we only did three by two on the cookie sheet for the first time, just see what's going on. But now we pop them in the oven for 10 to 13 minutes, which means we're going to do it around 12. Hope for the best, see where it comes out. So let's go. Just kidding, we haven't preheated the oven enough yet, so you get me dancing. Do, 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 do. 
It's only at 185. We got a while. And now we wait for it to beep and see what they look like. Finished product. I would show you them closer, but they'll fall off. <laughs> Yay! I have my brother Curtis here. He is the judge for this cookie. Please judge away. He's aesthetic fying mm -hmm. it right now. Look, you're smelling it. Smelling aesthetic. The smell well. does count to aesthetic. Can you stand up or are you broken? No, I feel more comfortable with this. Okay. You can judge me the entire time. This is my back. cookie process. Okay. Let him be the hunchback of Notre Dame if he wants to. Did you like modify the um, sour cream cookie that you did? What is the secret ingredient? We got a 4 for consistency. We got a 4.5 for taste. Oh, we got a 4 for aesthetic. Overall enjoyment. We got a 4. 4, 8, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15.5! Okay, so what's, no. the what's the secret what? ingredient? 16.5! <laughs> Math is not my forte. What's the secret ingredient? Is it that sour cream stuff? I don't know. Is it sour cream? I don't know. I don't really know. You what want, sour is cream that your guess? Like. That's my guess. No, it's applesauce. Huh. Okay. This is my father. <laughs> it's the assistant's assistant. This is the assistant's assistant. His name is Jim, and he's here to try our cookie. Are you ready? Ready. Go! Aesthetics. <laughs> Looks lovely. Good. Four out of five. Spongy. Spongy. Deep thinker he is. I like the texture. It's soft. It's not crunchy. Four. Overall enjoyment. Four. That's right. consistency, friend. But what would make a cookie so soft? Are you giving it four across the board? Oh, uh, overall enjoyment? Uh, yeah, everything's four, so it's a four. Sixteen out of twenty. What's the secret ingredient? I'm going to say it's sour cream, because I've had cookies that are super soft before and sour cream was in there. Curtis said sour cream too, but you're wrong! It's applesauce. Oh. Oh. Don't taste apple. Alright, thanks for joining me for Baking with Jay, episode 3. Say goodbye. Bye.